Hi guys, so a lot of you guys have been inquiring us on how we can get started on fishing in Singapore. So generally this is what I will bring when I go on a normal luring trip. So for starters we are gonna start with the setup. I'm using a 1k size reel packed with a 612 rod. You could use a 612 or 817, it's up to you. It's a very generalized uh, spec use in the luring scene in Singapore and you can really use it for almost any type of fishing saltwater or fresh so I'm using a 1000 size reel packed with 8 pound braid and 14 pound uh, shock leader so what you may be curious is what is a shock leader? so a shock leader it from its name it says like a shock leader so it helps absorb the shock because the fish in Singapore might be quite aggressive so sometimes when they take it could be too hard to for your braid because braid doesn't stretch so a shock leader helps absorb the shock from the take or sometimes when they are casting a lure that's slightly heavier there's a there's a bit of shock in it so the shock leader will help absorb the shock given so after your setup what we have is your lures so there's many different categories of lures you got your rubbers then you got your walk the dogs which are top water pencil baits then you also have your deep divers they are easier to be towed with a larger lip then you have your minnows very general then so what would you recommend? Uh, for three Singapore lures to get, 3 lures to get 3 lures to get uh. the one go to lure I'll go with uh, is rubbers, uh, minnows and it's a very beginner lure you can use a fly so what I normally do is I'll tie a fly to the back of a popper sometimes the fish may take the popper sometimes the fish will take the fly so uh, you can use any type of fly so you can just tie use your leader tie some to the back tie about two feet or one and a half feet then you just pop along the top sometimes the pickle will just come up and wake the fly what i'll go with is uh, an accessory box like this so with a box like this right i can store a lot of equipment as you see i have almost every size labeled out here so we see in here right this is not only used for in fishing it could be used at home when you want to change hooks or anything so here you have i have snaps split rings hooks then I got sinkers to be used, any hooks I want, then I got, I basically can bring this box almost anywhere. I'm bring it offshore, I can bring it. I'm bring it luring, I can bring it. I'm go baiting, I can bring it. Then the few next most important thing, right? Always say get a good pair of pliers, cause um, a lot of anglers I go fishing with out there, right? They sometimes forget to bring pliers. And then once you forget to bring your pliers, and then let's say you get, uh, example, you get something like a toman, and the fish swallow the hook then you want to get it out but then you don't have a pair of pliers so that's when an issue comes out then get a get a reasonably grip you don't have to get this one you can get the plastic ones also they are less damaging to the fish but i prefer to use this then a pair of scissors that can not only cut braid but you can also cut monofilament or fluorocarbon and then you can it comes with a split ring plier so you can open the split ring using the tip of the pliers so these are these are one of the few things i like to carry me and then one thing, uh, sun, sun gear lah, basically anything you bring out. So you got your shades, your cap. Some people prefer arm sleeve and leggings. Uh, I'm more of an arm sleeve guy, but today I'm not. And then one more thing I would like to specify on is bring water. Singapore weather is very hot and you would want to have at least a bottle of water with you at all times. So this is what I would normally bring to the learning scene. Budget wise, okay, what I'm looking at here, right? I can, I should be able to get everything below $200 including Leo's setup uh, you don't have to get the same rod as me like there are definitely cheaper options out there you can get a beginner setup for 125 including line then you got your accessories so I say everything should tally up below 200 or less like, you can get a very decent luring setup already even at a super tight budget you can get it at like maybe 100 yeah, you don't, everything you don't at 100 to or 150 setups, like, you can actually just use you, you want to go AliExpress, buy a cheap setup, it's also fine. But no one's going to criticize you on that. Like. It's just up to you. Just do whatever you want. Nothing is wrong, nothing is right. So, huh? Have fun. Yeah, have fun. Fishing is all about having fun. Don't, don't be... It's, I would say it's slightly toxic out there. Because it's very political in Singapore. But fishing is all about having fun. Like, like you want to just go out, catch a fish, take a picture. It's up to you. So, this is what I recommend if you are getting into fishing. So, yeah. Okay guys, so I want to add on to what Pierre said just now. 
and that is with the pliers and sunglasses. Now I can't emphasize how important it is to have a good pair of pliers and make sure that is the bigger the better, honestly. Like your okay, the bigger the better. <laughs> okay. So the reason why you need such big pliers is because like what Pierre said earlier, when you catch something big, like a Toman, the strength of the fish is insane and your lure is huge. So I know a lot of anglers who who use these as pliers and it works for once in a while but all you need is one accident and your hand will just go which is what happened to me I caught a small haran just about this big maybe two two pounds and as I was unhooking the haran because my leo was quite because my leo was quite big the haran shake and since the ply was so small and it didn't have much strength the hook just sliced through my fingers and now there's a scar on my finger right here what scar are we supposed to find uh? It's just one line uh. I don't know if you can see uh. Yeah. So, always have a good pair of pliers. After getting this scar, I just bought this pair of pliers and yeah, it's very very important. And the reason why you need a good pair of sunglasses is not just to look cool. I mean, of course, uh, with sunglasses you look a lot more cooler. But also, and not only to protect your eyes from the sun, but to protect your eyes from hooks as well. It's very 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 important especially for fly fishing they always tell you to wear a good pair of sunglasses and it's not just for show lah. like you can get hooked on any part of your body body but you never want to get hooked in your eye honestly like, I got hooked so many times on my hand but it's, it doesn't matter but one hook in your eye could just like mess up your whole life so you don't always have a good pair of sunglasses I would actually recommend more of like the sporty type of sunglasses but uh, these work as well lah the aviators. So yeah, that's what I have to say.